what it do stats crew it's your boy kid stats coming at you guys and today guys we are going to be getting into iono's partner pokemon bella bolt now y'all have been under a rock and y'all have not checked out this pokemon listen i got some news to share with y'all about this mon because guys this mon competitively depending on its stats could be absolutely broken don't worry i got y'all we're gonna get into this and also remember guys if you enjoy the content here make sure you guys hit that like button comment subscribe and always hit that bell notification if you want to know when your boy drop another video with all that being said let's go ahead and get into it now guys if you did not know october the 14th they dropped a reveal of ionos ionos i probably butchered her name partner pokemon bellabo and they also show a little bit of a gameplay about its moves and its ability now the ability is absolutely nuts bro i'm not even gonna lie if this pokemon actually has a really good stats it actually could be a problem but we're gonna get into that overall before we even got to this point iono teased her partner pokemon in a stream that she had before which i'm not gonna lie it made a lot of people upset a lot of people didn't like that trailer me personally i didn't care i'm more so excited for the game that's gonna drop here soon so i think i can wait a little bit longer to get all the news that i can for this game now a little bit about this pokemon bellabo if you did not know bellabo is a frog type pokemon also it's typing it's an electric type which is actually pretty decent for the type of pokemon that it is seeing that it kind of resembles somewhat of a light bulb upside down this pokemon stands at three foot eleven and has a whopping weight of 249 pounds that's a lot of beef for a frog if you ask me its ability is either electromorphous or static electromorphosis it's the new ability that I was letting you guys know about that we are gonna get ahead and go ahead and talk about. Now, this new ability allows for Bella Boat to use the ability that basically allows its next electric attack to be boosted. Now, the actual red description is Electromorphosis is a new ability appearing for the first time in these titles. Bella Boat becomes charged when it is hit by an attack, boosting the power of the next electric type move it uses. So let's reiterate. Now, the one thing that I do want to get all the way clear with this ability, does it stack? Is it one time per usage? Is it every single time Bella Boat gets hit? What is the limitations of this new ability? Not only are we talking about limitations, the biggest question mark is how strong is this Pokemon going to be? I am all about stats. In order for me to qualify a Pokemon as a decent or good Pokemon, we have to know the stats. Now, given our history on our previous frog Pokemon that we already have, we can actually base a little bit of our knowledge base of Pokemon and kind of adjust to see where we might think Bella Boat will fall. Now, given our list of Pokemon that we actually have that fits in the frog slash toad category, we have the Bulbasaur line, the Poliwag line, including Politoed, we have low tad if you really want to count that as a toad or a frog i don't know <laughs> we'll just move on from that one we have the Krogant line we have the Tempole line and last but not least my favorite line the froakie line starting with the two starter pokemon both greninja and venusaur has a base stat higher than normal pokemon with greninja respectively being 530 and venusaur being 525. both venusaur and greninja respectively has a base special attack higher than their attack however the attacking frog pokemon toxicro sosmato and polarav respectfully have a base stat total of 490 509 and 510 510 being polyrav as the strongest of the base stat totals now as much as i would like to think that there are more special electric type moves than there are physical they're almost just about the same as both side physical and special here in the trailer you can see the bella boat using a thunder type move whether this is thunder shock or thunderbolt i don't know yet but is this a indication that bella boat could be a special attacking pokemon who knows there are a lot more valuable special type electric type moves that would be in favor of thinking bella boat could possibly be a special attacking pokemon but then again, that's neither here nor there for us to even know. If that was the case though, there is a move that allows a Pokemon to raise a special defense and charge its next electric attack, and that move is being charged. Now charge is a electric type move that allows the Pokemon to charge up for its next attack, which being it allows the Pokemon to hit harder on its next move. 
if you double that down and he actually gets hit it would kick in his electromorphosis which i'm assuming would double down and also double charge his next electric attack these are the type of things that i think i would like to know if this actually stacks if charge is in the game and it works exactly how i think it's going to work this pokemon could actually be really really good competitively depending on how they round out his stats now i don't think they'll make him higher than a base stat total of 525 i can kind of see them kind of making him around the ballpark of polygraph with that 510 or more we'll just have to wait and see well there you have it ladies and gentlemen this is a showcase of bella bo iono's new partner pokemon i'm really looking forward to seeing the next few pokemon that they are going to announce here probably in the next couple of weeks officially october the 18th will be a month away from the initial release november the 18th for pokemon scarlet and violet if you have not yet got your copies guys i highly suggest you go ahead and get those pre-orders in because once they're gone they're gone i'm joking you're probably going to be able to get this off the eShop. i don't think the skin is going to sell out anytime soon so you guys tell me what you think about this pokemon do you think it's going to be really good competitively or you think it's going to be average and not really used a lot you're probably not going to see this pokemon in the competitive play with all that being said guys you already know what it is man this is your boy kid stats remember if you enjoyed the content make sure you guys hit that like button comment and subscribe and if you always want to know when your boy drop another video hit that bell notification with all that being said this your boy kid stacks and we up out of here peace